Nothing like hot ginger tea on a cold winter afternoon. What's up guys? Today I've got a video for you that's gonna touch on a pretty interesting topic, something that I uh, have not seen uh, out there on YouTube. I'm not sure if I'm making the first video touching on this topic, uh, we'll see. But uh, today we are going to turn the Blackmagic Cinema Camera 6K from a full frame camera into a medium format camera. That's right, medium format on the Blackmagic 6K using a little device that you probably would not have known about or heard about or expected. <laughs> The whole impetus for this video, guys, was because I was looking for L-mount speed boosters. The version of the Blackmagic 6K that I own is the L-mount version, and technically what I'm going to show you guys in this video should work with any full-frame L-mount camera. So any of the cameras from Panasonic or Leica or the Sigma FP, for example. I was looking for L-mount speed boosters and was having quite a bit of trouble. There's really not that many options out there. The only one that I can think of, there might be one from Metabones, but it was really expensive. Metabones is a, you know, they make great quality adapters, but damn, are they expensive. So I had, you know, had this idea, it just kind of came to me one day, what would happen if I used a speed booster on a full frame camera? Uh, you know, could I turn it into a medium format camera? So now a little bit of background on speed boosters or focal reducers as they're also known sometimes. What they do is uh, they take the field of view of the lens that is attached to them and they expand it by a certain amount and they also add an additional stop of light so you can get even better exposure out of the lens than normal because there's an additional glass element in the speed booster. So. They're typically used though with crop sensor cameras like uh, APS-C or Super 35 cameras because the field of view of the lens is going to be expanded, right? So you can use a full frame lens on a crop sensor camera and you know normally it would crop into the field of view but with the speed booster it's going to show that full frame you know field of view the correct field of view on your crop sensor camera but using them on a camera that's already full frame is going to uh, give you that uh, you know medium format look at least that was you know the theory that I had but I was having trouble finding you know L mount speed boosters affordable ones and really just anything out there and then I came across this little device sort of a happy accident so this here is the Laowa probe lens focal reducer now Normally this guy is supposed to just be used on Laowa's probe lenses. Those are those like super crazy long lenses that you can get wild macro shots with either in the EF mount or the PL mount. Um, this is the EF mount version. But then I got to thinking, what if I tried to use it on other EF lenses? Because from my experience with adapters and speed boosters, by certain brands, they'll say, you know, they're only supposed to be used with their brand of lenses. So, you know, Sig only Sigma lenses or only Canon lenses or only Nikon lenses, whatever. Uh, and then I use lenses from other brands and they work just fine. So I thought, okay, I've got uh, some EF mount lenses here. Let's uh, see if we can adapt them and uh, get that medium format look on the Blackmagic 6K. A couple things to keep in mind though, this does not unfortunately adapt to all EF mount lenses that I've tested. So we're gonna quickly run through here and find out which ones I'll be actually able to use. So I've got some lenses from Suray. This is the Suray Jupiter lenses. They're uh, macro cinema lenses. And got some lenses from Blazar, anamorphic lenses here from the Remus and Cato series. And this is an older Rokinon Cine DS lens, all EF mount. Now, additionally, uh, any lens that has a protruding back element is not gonna work because there's actually glass in this adapter. That's how you, you know, get that wider field of view and additional stop of light. You need more glass. So anything with a, a protruding back element uh, is not gonna work. 
So we're gonna first try on the Sure lens here. Okay, so it looks like it works well on the Sure 75 millimeter T2.8 Jupiter lens. I will say that it's not as secure as some of the other adapters that I've used. This is not like a locking adapter. So you're going to want to use lighter lenses. Don't use super heavy cinema lenses. That's just not going to be good. All right, now let's see here. Actually line up the dots. Okay, so we're getting a little bit of, getting a little bit of, you know, stickiness in uh, this other Sure lens. So, you know, this is not twisting that much. And I have no idea why, because both of these mounts are the same. They're clean. I've inspected them, you know, nothing out of the ordinary. Let's try the, uh, the Blazar lenses. This is the 85 millimeter T2.8. See how that just snaps in? And it just, and the, it's a nice full rotation and click. Not sure why it, it doesn't work with that Sure lens. It's with the Blazar 85 millimeter. But now let's try the Blazar 45 millimeter. As you guys can see, it just, it just doesn't want to go on. Like I just, I, I can feel it sort of slotting into place, but it just won't let me turn it and I'm not going to risk uh, breaking the lens. So like even within series, it's, uh, you know, doesn't necessarily work. You really have to test it out with lenses first um, before committing to it, which I know is not, you know, the greatest solution. Okay, so that Blazar lens, the Kato, works just fine. All right, now let's try it on the Rokinon lens. Yep, works just fine on the Rokinon lens there. Yeah, so unfortunately, it's not gonna work on all lenses, guys, but I do have to say the ones that it does work on, whoo, it creates some really interesting visuals. So we are gonna check that out. know in the comments below uh, what you thought of the different like looks that you can get on these lenses and on the Blackmagic 6K in that you know medium format mode. Is this something that you know you would actually use in your own productions? You know that kind of like that swirly look of the background, the blurred out background in the 85 millimeter Remus lens or uh, you know, using the the Kato uh, in that cropped four by three mode, but then getting the full frame four by three view right, or even like the Rokinon lens, like you know, just getting crazy wide, like fourteen millimeters, super super wide. Some of these lenses, you know, are not built for medium format though, so they are going to vignette, and. You know, some people might like that. It's a, a stylistic choice, uh, but I think, you know, in the case of like the Cato, for example, definitely 
uh, not going to use that in the like full frame mode of the Blackmagic 6K. It's just not going to cover medium format. You know, the vignetting was crazy on that lens uh, in that mode. So I would not use it in like a medium format mode. All right, guys, so that is going to do it for a little peek at the Laowa Probe Lens Focal Reducer used as a speed booster to turn the Blackmagic 6K or other L-mount cameras into a medium format camera. One of those happy accidents, come across a piece of gear and it turns out to be totally different than what you expected you were gonna use it for, but it ends up actually being better. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Stay warm out there, and uh, why don't you consider subscribing to the channel while you're at it? I'll see you in the next one. Peace.